Another suspect has owned up to killing 17-year-old Christine Silawan, but the victim's family is not buying his story. Jim Avancena has the story. Renato Lienes was initially arrested by Lapu-Lapu City Police for violating the election gun ban. Then, the 43-year-old owned up to the killing of 16-year-old Christine Lee Silawan because according to him, his conscience was bothering him. Mangayo lang ang tao ko, pasaylo sa pamilya niya ba? Mapasaylo ang tao niya sa nabuhat na ko siya anak. Ako lang, ikaw lang, katun lang, city and news na matagawas. Lano man sa'yo? Kaya dili mong gusto siya ko. Ako mong gulang tinood niya, naluoy ko niya ba? Lienes said he used a fake account on Facebook and became friends with Silawan. After four months of chatting, they decided to meet last March 10. But Christine got disappointed after seeing him. Liene said he got mad when Silawan refused to have sex with him. This is why he stabbed her with a scissor and skinned her face. Liene said he only imitated what he saw online. Yung mga doktor lang yun po mga makita ko. Yung ginabalata. Mahili kayo mag-internet, sir? Oo. But Silawan's family is not convinced with the suspect's confession. Then, mutuwa na. Kanil niya hiti ako, si Liene. Oh, kanang Lienes. Dili mo mo to, oh. Dili mo to. Kaya lang ko kaya yan na nyo. Oo, sige. Dili mo to. Yan o, sir. Dili sa panginahan, dili mo to. Kuritaan nyo, makahe mo, ana. Lapu-Lapu City Police said they are sure that Lienes did the crime based on the CCTV and the evidence they retrieved from him. I believe 100% na siya na talaga. Dahil, o na, bago pa namin siya na-aristo, kompleto na ang aming ebidensya. In fact, it could stand already in court. Ano, ang aming mga dossiers, ang aming mga information um, tungkol sa ating suspek. The camp of Silawan's ex-boyfriend is hoping that the case filed against the minor will be dismissed after the admission of Lienes. For News 5, Jam Avancenia, We Are One News.